so as every developer who is familiar with Roblox Studio knows, there's this C-frame feature which allows parts to move. But the player doesn't stick to them. So there's another option, which is using the body motion features. But there's a problem with that. And today we're going to fix it. Hello everyone, this is Daniel, and today I will show you how to make a functional moving part that a player can stick to. You see here, there's this platform, right? If I stand on it, it doesn't change. It doesn't rotate. If we go to the server, select this part, you see the orientation, aka the rotation, is very small, super small, that you can't even notice. It. It's because of these sticks. But as you see, I face through them. But how is it that I face through these parts or sticks, but the part doesn't? This platform here. So I'll show how to make this. This is a new place I have here on Roblox Studio. The required windows needed for this is, well, Explorer and Properties, which are right here, the biggest ones. I, I always open them. They're always very useful. Usually everything's shown in the view, right? But this time we're going to go to Model and go all the way to Advanced. And Collision Groups is right here. Click on that once and you have this thing. What else? you're going to need is to get a part like this, right? Make it the smallest you can make and just stretch it out. And you have this stick that I mentioned earlier. I already have one prepared here, so we'll just use that one. Next thing you do is go to toolbox, which is right here and search up moving parts. Then you get all these different parts and models. Choose this one, moving platform by Muse Brat. If we go into the game, it's moving. So that's good, right? But the thing is, the problem that I encounter with all these moving part models, because I mean, I don't know how to make one without using C frame. The problem is that, you, as you see here, yeah, this happens. It always rotates this way or the other and tilts. And I didn't know how to fix that. I've been searching it everywhere and I didn't find a solution. So I used my, uh, I used a different method. So. What I want to do first is to just resize it, make it as big as you want. So here's the part. I'm just gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it concrete for a bit more flavor. Then what we do is we take these, this stick we have here, right? Turn on collisions because otherwise this stick will just face through. We don't want that. It'll cause some glitches. And just move it like this, and then move it over here and over here so we have three sides the uh, the bottom the top and well the side and now we simply just do this on the other side and there we have it not doesn't look symmetrical but that doesn't really matter and now it's supported so it won't tilt this way or that way but there's another problem if we go here it could wait after some um problem searching i'm just want to tell you that you have to make sure that it goes um the direction parallel to the sticks otherwise they'll just try to move this way or uh up or down and uh, the sticks will be blocking it and you see it's not being affected right no more tilting but there's another problem the sticks themselves are uh, well you see clearly that i'm walking on them so we don't want that right so what we do is now it's time for the collision groups editor so the default group which is always there is everything in the game including the player what we do is we're just going to add two new groups uh, move parts which is the sticks or no let's just name them sticks and the and just parts which is going to be everything so now it's time to mention collision group id which is basically what group is going to be in so it goes down one two and three so we're just going to select everything every single part there is 
spray. We just it's not that much here, but we're going to take everything and just add, add it to parts. Because that's where all the parts are going to be. The ID has changed to two. Okay, why is it now arranged? So this is two, this is one. Just uh I guess that can happen. So now everything from default, every single part from the default group is in the parts group. I'm doing this because I cannot find where the player is. The, like, the player itself, all the parts for the player. You can't find this here as long as, as much as I know. And after we're done adding every single part into the parts group, every single part, including the sticks, we go to the sticks group, right? And we just simply select the sticks. And now we add that into the sticks group, which is group one. And now we have parts for group two, every single part minus the sticks, and sticks for group one, which is only the sticks. But what's left of default? Why, why did we do that? Default now has only the player, which is what we couldn't find. So now default is only the player. So now, since default is the player, and sticks are these things, which we don't want to collide with, we simply go to sticks, the sticks row, and the default column, and we just check this, where, they, where these two lines intersect. And now, the player, which is again, the only thing in the default group after doing the steps, and the sticks, which are the only things in the sticks group, these two things don't collide. But the part, which is in the separate group, does collide. And uh, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.